It's still no good. It's like you're trying to change the definition of a word that's already there. Oh. Yeah, but what if he doesn't want to get hell? What if he's like, he's like, if loving your son is wrong, I don't want to be right. What's going on, y'all? Ground motivated back in this thing again, man, with another video. And today I'm checking out an old, uh, well, not an old YouTube, but somebody that I actually reviewed their video before, man, and by the name of Ruin Leon. And uh, I don't agree with all his points and anything like that, but uh, I think we agree on the. I guess most things and uh, this one right here if you don't know what map is you're about to know it's it's the new latest weirdest shit. Well, I don't even think it's the newest latest I think it's been going on for a couple years but uh it's weird as hell I forgot what it stands for but uh just uh you know just just you know just know that that file is the last you know the the suffix of it file you know there's the that's it yeah <laughs> file it's p-h-i-l E file. Yeah, but uh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and see what the hell's going on, man. And uh the name of the video, apparently college students don't want maps on campus. Shocking. And I agree, man. Don't nobody want no map on campus. Once you find out what it is, you're not gonna want maps on campus or around you, period, man. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know what you think. Let's go on get on this thing and see what the hell he got to say. Previously on that bullshit. That question. Um, I use the term minor attracted person or map uh, in the title and throughout the book for multiple reasons. Um, first of all, because I think it's important to use terminology for groups that members of that group want others to use for them. Um, and map advocacy groups like Before You Act um, have advocated for use of the term map. Um, they've advocated for it primarily because it's less stigmatizing than other terms. Like uh, A lot of people, when they hear the term automatically assume that it means a sex offender uh, and that isn't true it does. and it leads to a lot of misconceptions about attractions toward minors um, i've definitely heard the idea that you brought up though that the use of the term minor attracted person suggests that it's okay to be attracted to children uh, but using a term that communicates who someone is attracted to that doesn't indicate anything about the morality of that attraction all right man so uh so if you didn't catch that man map stands for minor attracted persons and i guess like that means you are you're a one you're a person who's attracted to minors they're just trying to spin it around and make it sound good man like i said man the file on the end but you know the, the tube is lame as hell man you say yeah he has a big head and they get a yellow mark and you won't get no money for you for your video you put some time info so uh we ain't gonna say that man we're gonna try to keep it clean as possible without i don't know but yeah, we're gonna try to keep it clean and possible. But uh, yeah, man, and I, I think that this is just as stupid as uh, I don't know. It's like a, I guess, a fish, a, a, essentially like a, a group of defective people trying to make a case for their defect. Yeah, like it's like that's that's silly. Like, and, and I think it's like uh, you know, they're trying to. I think this is gonna be the next thing in a couple years, where how like uh, you know how you can't call like certain people in the LGTV community, you can't call them uh, them T Rannies. And then you, uh, I mean, of course you can't call them F's and everything, because that's been a derogatory word since, like, the Hitler days and everything like that. But, uh, like, you know, you can't even say the T. Randy word, and I don't think that that's, like, like, that bad. That's, like, that to me sounds like calling somebody a butthead. But, hey, people are, people feel the way about it, and that's, that's, uh, you know, that's what we got now. And I think this is going to be the next thing where, you know, if you say the, the original word, now you're essentially saying a, a curse word mm. and now they're gonna want you to be like oh yeah say he's a map he's a map so but yeah. I think that there is a difference uh -huh. between people who actually you know they have all those thoughts yeah of like sexually offending minors yeah. and they actually did it mm -hmm. versus people who are constantly struggling with those thoughts yeah. and they're trying to find help or find a way to like, so what has this person been doing all these years? Just being an incel? Or, it's, it's not okay. Or maybe he just knows it's wrong because like morally inside, he knows he's not supposed to do it. So he's like constantly struggling with it and he wants to have, find help. But he like... So then what do you do? So, so then... So, that's the so thing. So, if no? you're so does that mean that you go and you go look up child pornography? You go look up child... That's cause, illegal. Cause like, yeah, okay, yeah so, so you're still essentially a trash human being. You're just trying to cover it up, man. Go be regular. Go get you some help, goddammit. That's a, that's my point. It's like, if you're trying to get help and then you see help group yeah. that says, Pat, P-file. Right. 
anonymous association, yeah. you're like, oh, I don't want to be part of that. But if it says like Mac, you don't have a choice. That's what the name is. That's what it is. You don't get to make a word. Just like the Saint in the Center video where the dude was No, but it's like people who actually did something bad already versus people who haven't really done... It's still no good. It's still no good. It's like you're trying to change the definition of a word that's already there. King. The guy was changing, trying to change the definition of a king by saying, yeah, well, the king, there's going to be multiple kings in one... Yeah. And then you do... No, that's not what it is. No, but the thing it, is, a, you can't... A map is not what it is. Not, it's, the, it's what it is. No, but file. those people are already out there. They exist in the society, right? Yeah. We can't kill them all, right? So we have to find a way to help them to correct them so we want them to willingly come out admit that they have this thing and seek help i guess i'm gonna try to be nice but uh yeah let's keep on yeah how do y'all feel about mm. that man do y'all agree with uh with angie's point man these people are trying to you know trying to be nice and they're or not trying to be nice they're trying to be decent and like you know let, let folks know so maybe somebody will, come help come get help or do you feel like me man get them <laughs> Let me know, man. That penalty is not even like a thing. I didn't. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. So it's like those people will always exist with those. Nah, nobody said nothing about no death penalty. I said I, if I get them could mean. <laughs> and but then, you like, can't punch that out of their brain. They're still gonna be. Or jail them. Jail. Get them or jail them. Trap off oh, Jail, jail, oh. jail. I know English is not your first language. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, yeah. I don't know. That's just, yeah. Like uh, yeah. You're you're just as bad. Like uh, I mean, you know, you're not gonna just get them just for doing nothing. But I mean, you're you're still just you're trying to just sugarcoat what it really is. Let's go. While I am the sexiest black YouTuber and the king of common sense, I gotta be honest, I have given up on society. Because within the past year, and all these stupid hot takes, and all these people claiming that they know more than other people, and that they're 100% right, I find it hard to hold conversations with these types of people, because the minute I come out of thin air and say, actually, I disagree with you, and here are the reasons why, I know I'm gonna get called an ist, an ism, a phobia, a gobia, a trobia, and pobia, because these people don't know how to hold conversations, they just know how to bitch and moan about how much they feel but as i was ready to officially give up i was given a glimmer of hope for society and it was in the form of someone advocating for minor attractive people aka we all remember <laughs> dr alan walker the one insane human being who got on camera and let the world know that we need to start respecting individuals who are grown adults who are romantically yeah. and sexually attracted to minors and i will repeat myself professor. yet again yes. for those who think i'm some bad human being but if you are a grown adult and you see little timmy Susie, or jimmy walking up the street and you get erect and you want to do <laughs> something sexual you are creepy. If you are advocating for grown adults, you're creepy. Mm. So you're telling me your son, your son walking up the street, and uh, and uh, Jim Jacobs over here, he, he said, yeah, I'm not a paedophile, but I'm a map, and I saw your son. <laughs> so yeah, so now you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Now you out here trying to be like, oh, get him some help, get J get Jim Jacobs some help. No. You don't get any help, Jim Jacobs. You just get the yapper. Or I'd be like, you better keep your eyes off my boy. You and can't you stop better him from get doing that. Help. You just don't need to be in your neighborhood. You get some help. Oh, yeah. That's... You can't see. You can't kick those people but out what, of your neighborhood. How? Yeah, but what if he doesn't want to get help? What if he's like, he's like, if loving your son is wrong, I don't want to be right. What if he's like that? Now what? He doesn't want to get help. Every time, every day, your son walking down the street, you got Jim Jacobs over there. He's looking at your son like the dude off Family Guy, slobbing. He got slobbered down, and then and then he got on gray That's sweatpants. He got on gray sweatpants. He talking about some. <laughs> That's why before you buy the house, you search to see if there's any registered what do you call it sex offenders in the neighborhood. And then and then little Joe, little Joe, Joe's like, Mom, Mom, his 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 pants had a thing cranking out of it. His pants, his pants. <laughs> he always says We gotta talk to your dad And he's gonna punch the hell out of that guy <laughs> Let's go y'all <laughs> To have sex dolls of children I'm sorry to inform you You are creepy That's and crazy I feel like you could see yourself in a relationship As a 40 year old with a 10 year old I'm sorry you are creepy You're crazy and It's not my fault That's your fault Because you think that's acceptable behavior And I'm here to let you know no, it's not. But I was surprised 
recently because in this landscape of people wanting to understand the weirdest of human beings i saw something i wasn't ready to see i saw people protesting against the map supporter i saw people protesting and showing their disagreement with someone who's advocating for people who want to be attracted to minors Right. You see that sign? And like maps does not equal to the oh, Maps equals. Equal. Yeah. What's the definition of minor in the states? Under, under 18. 16, uh, 18. Yeah, under 16, I guess. Like, cause it's, cause they got a weird law where you can bust 16 year olds. But yeah, I guess under 16. But I think uh, yeah, I guess you're not a, you're not essentially an adult till 18. So, but I don't, I don't really understand. So that's the same as people like if you offended sexually offended a teenager. That's under 16. Right. Then that makes you the p category. Right? The P file. <laughs> Yellow marks. God. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, go. Cool. Okay. So the only difference between map mm -hmm. and the P file mm -hmm. is map is only like thinking about it, fantasizing it. The P file actually did. We don't know that. Caught. We don't know that. The and map got caught. No, nah, but if, like I said, like he just said, if the map thinks that getting a child sex doll is okay, or looking up child pornography is okay, then he's not okay. You're still a part of the problem. That's weird as hell. Why would, why would I want little Joe walking up the street and then Jim Jacobs over there, uh, he, he can't get a piece of him, so he, he goes and tears up his, his sex doll and, and thinks about Joe. Things about our son. Yes, and I agree with the part about the child pornography because yeah. if you are actually watching it or you're purchasing it, you're distributing it, then you're basically encouraging yeah, you're encouraging. the making, the production exactly. of that. And who's going to get hurt from that? Actual kids. It's not okay. Not okay. And I'm going to be honest, it brought a tear to my eye because in this mm. world of people trying to accept the dumbest and weirdest of things, I am happy to see that more people are starting to believe in common sense. More people are starting to understand that in a world where we got all of these different people, all these different backgrounds, at least we can all agree that being romantically attracted to children is the no-no. I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm satisfied with that. That's my one moral victory with society. You're not because even romantic though there out there sexually and try to ration it and reason it and try to make everyone right. else who disagrees as the bad person. No, 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 no. At least you got these wannabe inclusive people who are from the ages of 18 to at least 25 saying, hey, that right there at our university, we don't want that here. We don't want that there. We don't need that here because unlike this weirdo who's in a position that is really high at that university as an assistant professor of sociology and criminal justice, we don't want that mm. there because we actually care. That's why mm. That's why folks coming out of college weird as hell and talking about all this, accept this, accept that, because you got weirdos like him teaching the shit. He got, he got the nerve to be a map and then be LGTV map. So your son really walking, he really want to tear his booty open. Terrible. What college? And he's trying to make it okay. At? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. Uh about the safety of children we don't want to see grown adults with sex dolls we want to see a society that's actually inclusive not predatory old dominion university has placed dr alan walker on administrative okay. leave effective immediately from their position as assistant professor of sociology and criminal justice reactions to dr walker's research and book have led to concerns for their safety and that of the campus furthermore mm -hmm. the controversy over dr walker's research has disrupted the campus and community environment and is interfering with the institution mission of teaching and learning i want to state in the strongest terms possible that child sexual abuse is morally wrong and has no place in our society this no. is a challenging time for our university but i am confident that we will come together and move forward as a monarch family now even though i disagree with this person in their advocacy for weirdos being attracted to right children, like why is it a challenging time it should not be a challenge it should just be like get your ass out of here to whom to the maps but is it like is, a mental is there, so thing? you're thinking there's a group of people that's running around here like yeah he wants to bust on little jojo no, but i want to know like the cause of it is it because is it like a mental thing or like a psychological thing like what's going on because something happened like, to them as a kid and again because i'm a avid 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 avid, avid. 
avid watcher, uh, audience, follower of Special Victims Unit. Uh, so like a lot of these like they probably have a very traumatic childhood. <laughs> Yellow Marshall over there. Wait, keep going, man. A lot of those P files yeah. have a lot of traumatic childhood. Yeah. So it's like they you don't you don't know like how you're messed up here till later on in life when you're like, oh that's not normal. And then you want to seek help. So maybe some of those people actually want to seek help. It's still not okay. Yeah, it's not okay, but they know they're messed up, now they want help. Once you get to a certain age, then you you've gotten to enough of an age where you know like that dude that that they just showed he was old enough to know like hey bro I shouldn't be busting on no kids or looking at no kids no funny kind of way. No, but if you were growing up being abused, you probably thought no, that was normal. No, but you're grown enough to a to a point where you can get a, there's a fork in the road. You decide kids, adults, and you know that kids is not socially acceptable. You don't keep going kids. Exactly, it's not socially acceptable. But they, if they're messed up here and here. They need something to be done to them so it can be like corrected, you know? Something to be done to them? Yeah. <laughs> something to be done to them. <laughs> this guy thinks everything can be solved with... <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm kind of a caveman, but no. <laughs> Let's go. Are just as destructive as that idiot because you're not in a society where it's okay to send people these threats just because you disagree with them. You could point the holes out in their logic and move on and make them look stupid. You could publicly say you don't want this in your area, but to actively say you are going to harm them or you hope they commit some form of not alive, that's no need for that and we don't condone that here. But I am happy to see the public outrage of this incident. I am happy to see that. Everyone hasn't lost their minds. I am happy to see that I have infected you all with my seed of common sense and that in nine months you will develop as the wealth of Go forth, my young children, and show the world what common sense looks like. Show the world that this is not a place where we will allow individuals to have sex dolls of children. Show the world that you will not stand for showing respect to pedos and their weird antics show the world that you are not that inclusive and that you have some form of restraint when it comes to society and what we deem acceptable 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 and subscribe to the channel where you can see the sexiest black king and all his common sense seed being spread out onto the masses i'll see you in the next one Goodbye. All right, y'all. So that's the video right there, man. What'd you guys think about that? What'd you guys think of Ruin Leon's points? What'd you think guys think of our points, man? Are you okay with Maps being on your campus or being in your workplace or being next door neighbor? Let us know, man. Um, yeah, man. Now, what do, you, what do you think needs to be done? Do they need to just go get help? And what if they don't want to get help? Then what do you do? I, I no, I feel like I don't know. I, I, I feel like people deserve a second chance, right? Especially the one that noticed their issue and tried to correct it. But, but... You just, you, now you're going into my point. What if they don't want it? You say they try to correct no, it. That's one thing. If you try to correct it, that's cool. If you, but if, how are you going to force them? How do you force them? Like someone should be... They feel, they feel... Someone should be surveil surveillancing uh -huh. them like 24-7. Okay. But they're still going to do it because they have urges for kids. Well... Then we catch you in the act, we lock you up. But but the kid already got abused, now we have another map. No, we... <laughs> we catch you... So straight, so basically, just like, man, just turn yourself in, go get some help. Yeah. That's the only, that's really the yeah. only way. Yeah. Because if you don't no, want No, but it, you know how it's like, for alcoholics, right? They yeah. have the AA. Yeah. The AA. Is it A or AA? AA. AA, right? Yeah. Like, there's a place you go to get help because you realize you have an issue. Like yeah. same for, for addicts, right? Yeah. And I think for those people who are P files or ma maps, they are essentially, they're not the same thing, but they're very similar psychologically. They realize they have an issue and they want to get help. So what do you say to a guy like EDP? What does he need? Because EDP is a map and EDP apparently doesn't feel he like he's needs to be drunk. locked up, okay. period. Okay, but since EDP is not being locked up and he's still out here on the run, what do you think about that? What do you think needs to happen to EDP? Because EDP thinks that he's the most righteous, the
the most toughest, the most whatever the hell kind of guy he can be, and he doesn't think he needs any help. U.S. U.S. justice system is is flawed. Because why are these people running on the street, and everyone else know that they are like certified pedophiles? Right, and that's the same thing that happened with the uh, with the the case that that, that shows the flawed justice system. On yeah. top of that, mm -hmm. the guys who he who he knocked off was was uh, map guys. It was oh, a map. Really? Yeah, it was one guy was a map guy, and one guy was like an arson, and he was like on his like school shooter named Toby type shit. But yeah, wait, the white boy case? Yeah, the white boy case. Did he know that he was shooting? Nah, he didn't know that. But that's like that's like the people's reasoning for uh for yeah they should have died for that. And it's like uh I don't know somebody made a good point when they said like uh, all the folks that 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 got killed on nine eleven like there weren't all those people weren't all good. Mm -hmm. So that does that justify them getting killed too? And I yeah I I, I don't think that that actually makes yeah it because justify. if that justifies the shooting then yeah. basically means every one of us who has what like a done anything bad or transgressions. Yeah, or like bad. we are like we feel like we're vig vigilantes. Yeah. Vigilantes. Yeah. We can basically hold up a weapon and yeah. be like, pow, pow, pow. and we'd we'll yeah. be like, oh, he he's bad because he uh he pushed this old old grandma right. down the street. Yeah. According to them, if I if I take if I take it up to Wisconsin, I can got down a written house on on a couple maps, and get away with it, because I can deputize myself. As long as it's short barrel, it ain't short barrel, and uh, I got the license. Oh wow, EDP better watch out. Better not go to Wisconsin because you might be targeted. Might be targeted. Yeah, but uh, that's the video right there, man. Y'all let us know what you guys think about this whole situation, man. Are you tired of all of these new inclusive, uh, stupid ass things they keep on bringing in? Uh, yeah, let us know. That's, that's all I got, man. Thanks for watching the video up to this point, man. Have a great day and we'll see you next time.